So hello and welcome to another Valorant video. Today we are talking about spike plant site spots and success. A wonderful article here written by Thomas Burge Burke. Uh, very well done to you, Thomas. This is a very wonderful article and I will link the article as well uh, down in the description if you want to go and check it out yourself. But basically what we're going to do and what this article does so well is basically tell you from the Valorant Champions Tournament, you know, go through the different maps, the different spike locations, and, you know, what sites do people tend to go towards? You know, how often do you win after you've planted the spike in those locations? What's going on? And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that as a whole, and uh, it should be pretty interesting. And, yeah, very interesting article on the whole, and I think uh, it's definitely worth diving into. And so let's start with Ascent, and we can see the stats here we have uh, slightly more favored towards a side in terms of planting that to me isn't much of a surprise I think that generally people do prefer the a site uh, so we have 55 to 45 percent but you can see that the rounds went after the plant uh, 70 for a and uh, 72 for b now this actually was a bit of a surprise for me uh, as a whole uh, because b site you know attackers will normally seem to get trapped in on this b site but it seems like you know, these choke points being so small, it doesn't actually matter that much. That seems to be the takeaway from this B site from me. And the main takeaway from these uh, stats on Ascent in general is that, uh, you know, you will normally get trapped in as the attackers. You know, you normally won't be able to get off of this space. Uh, but it seems like that doesn't matter that much because all you have to defend, you know, is a drop down. And I've talked about many times, you know, how a drop down is always pretty uh, devastating most of the time. And a very narrow corridor here on the stairs as well. So it seems like, you know, the fact that these choke points are so small that once you actually do take the site, uh, you will normally be okay. And a 72% win rate, so, you know, almost three quarters of the time you're winning, uh, is pretty good for a site. And uh, so B site seems to be actually doing pretty well. We can see the spike locations here, a lot of success sort of in the normal default positions, either by this corner or behind the boxes here. Not planting apparently near this. I, I think what's happening here. And this, again, might be a bit counterintuitive, but, uh, you know, these plants here, what I would guess that these are trying to do is they're trying to plant there and then escape. Uh, and, you know, maybe they get caught on their escape. I don't know exactly the rounds that this is referring to, but it seems like, you know, when they're trying to escape or whatever, this isn't being successful a lot of the time if they're trying to get out of here. So it actually seems like actually just sitting in what seems like a very confined area is actually going to be beneficial to you rather than trying to get out and escape and play a bit more aggressive and try and be somewhere that they don't expect you. I assume that these are probably in like 1v1s or something like that. So maybe it's just, you know, pure chance that these uh, were losses instead of wins. Moving on to A site, we see slightly less success overall, uh, but pretty normal, you know, a lot of plants towards the generator here. Seems pretty standard. And uh, we also have this plant here, which is normally for like a big astral wall that comes around like something like this that just leaves that little corner, right? And, uh, you know, getting the plant down there. And it seems like teams actually use that successfully. It can be pretty risky and, and particularly at the pro level, but in your rank games, it is something that you could do. So moving on to bind, and we can see that the plants, the number of plants was pretty even, 56 to 58, so 51% to 49%. Not that big of a surprise, considering the map is kind of split into two sides, right? Uh, but uh, we, when we look at the win percentage, absolutely crazy. 75% for B site, but only 62 for A site. Now, when we look at B site, this isn't too big of an issue, and it's kind of expected, because generally the defenders will have to either come through this very narrow gap or be here. And uh, or they can come through hooker and the teleporter, but then they have to deal with this drop. So all the ways back in are normally pretty, you know, they aren't great. They're all pretty obvious and uh, it's going to be difficult to try and retake in general. So that doesn't surprise me too much. A, a bit of a surprise with all these wins here towards the back of the site. Uh, that one was a bit you know, surprising to me perhaps, but I guess that these that these plant locations probably mean that, you know, the team has like full control of uh, all of the site and is just worried about sort of the big flank. Uh, and in those cases, I guess it's even easier to defend because hooker then is going to be your main your main problem. And again, coming out of that drop isn't going to be easy. So makes some sense, I guess, uh, as to why B site is so easy to defend. On A site, though, you know, less so. We get uh, a harder site to try and defend and an easier site to retake. And the reason for that is generally, I think that normally, you know, in these kind of plant locations, you know, the general default plants here, uh, the defenders normally will kind of get this space for free. And, you know, normally the furthest pushed up person will be someone playing like in U-Haul here or something like that. And so the defenders are already kind of given the all of the backside uh, for free. You know, normally they get, uh, not the line there, I want this. Uh, normally they will get like this 
area back for free a lot of the times and i think that that is definitely a big help because then from this area you know you have multiple ways in as well you know there's three different directions from there you can go as well uh so it does make sense to me again that this would be an easier site to retake but i was surprised at how big the disparity is and uh maybe this will lead you know this kind of analysis can lead to teams thinking well maybe we should target b site more you know if we're getting the spike down we're winning a lot more often anytime we're going to B site. So maybe, therefore, B should be sort of your default site to go to and A should be kind of, you know, uh, a less less of a hit because uh, you're going to win more if you plant on B site. Okay, moving on to Breeze. And obviously, we are getting Breeze changes. So this one might change a bit more, but we can see that teams definitely favoring the A site a lot. And that this was the most imbalanced in terms of, you know, the amount of plants on a certain site. And that doesn't surprise me at all. This A site, especially with the, the Viper wall across here, right, is super, super easy to get into these positions and get a plant down. So that's not surprising at all. And as we can see, both sites are pretty hard to retake as well and uh there's probably a couple reasons for that right like one rotations are very long so that's a time gone for your retake potential if you're wa waiting for your team you're going to be waiting longer than you would on other maps so that might be part of it right there's also a ton of different positions that Tekkens could play and we can see that you know in general both sides are pretty hard for the defenders to try and get a retake on uh, but a site in particular very difficult and it's because generally speaking the attackers can normally just chill in cave and uh, just kind of wait you out a lot of the time and, and there's not really you know at this level where the players are all so good you know there isn't really going to be any mistakes they're just going to jump peak they're just going to wait you know they know that they have that time to be able to do it i will say that i was surprised to see all of the green around this area here like on the side because sometimes those plants can be very risky uh, because it is possible to, you know, if you have gone and retreated the cave and planted in a position like this, that a defender can, you know, just like sit here and, and, and defuse and, and you have to like run out and sprint to try and see them. Uh, that can happen sometimes. So I was surprised to see all the green there. But other than that, it makes a lot of sense to me, uh, you know, and this, this A site obviously is changing, I think, for good reason to try and make it a bit easier for defenders. And interestingly, the B site, you know, we're getting this box here. Uh, that might make it a bit easier for the attackers and planting the spike, which might, uh, you know, make the, the site a bit more balanced in this map. Okay, moving on to Fracture, we can see again, pretty even overall, 48 and 52. And, and again, this doesn't surprise me. This map is kind of like bind in the way that it's, you know, sort of split into two, right? So that doesn't surprise me too much. But we can see a massive disparity in terms of the win rates. 80% for B site, which is like a crazy, crazy high uh the highest of any site on any map as you can see here but only 65 for a which is a, a really 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 low percentage chance so again maybe more teams will be like oh well maybe we should focus on this b site then uh and i think the reason for that and if we look at this a site the reason that generally that will be the case is because it's that same thing of when you're playing and planting on a really the only positions you can be is like here <laughs> like that's it and for the defenders, that's uh, very easy to come back and, you know, know where the players are going to be. And you can probably, you know, retake pretty easily if you know that basically all you have to do is check the site and then check main. Uh, you know, that's that's pretty easy for the defenders to sort of understand where the attackers are going to be. And I think that that leads to a lot of the uh, retake success. Whereas on B site, you know, there is more potential. You know, you can go back up in towards tower. You can potentially sneak off back here towards be main you can be a me bit of a menace and just kind of hide right by the spike and even if you go up to tower right and they know that you've gone back up there you know you can come back down and maybe look back around it, it there's a lot going on i think on this b site more potential for you know weird off angles and weird positions to take there's things that you can hide behind on the spot on, on the site like behind uh this is it a box here i can't actually remember off the top of my head but you know the, the different positions to hide you can maybe even behind it behind this box if you really wanted to if you knew they were coming this way so plenty of different places to be on b site so generally i think you should therefore be targeting b site as your kind of main one to go to which is interesting because i feel like people actually have a bit of an affinity towards a here and i think that people like this area but it seems like b is the place to go uh when it comes to winning on terms of retakes and getting the spike down and you know considering that we're you know, kind of 50-50 on this. I think that, you know, maybe more teams will start going towards B uh, as we uh, move forward with this map. Okay, moving on to Haven. Obviously, this has three sites, so this one is going to be perhaps more interesting overall. But we can see that we are planting on A site a majority of the time. Teams do tend to favor A, and we'll get into that and why. And they're winning 75% of the time. B site, only 10%. 
not to be unexpected, I don't think, but only 10%, and only a 41% win percentage after planting the spike on B site. That is incredibly low. Uh, and by far the lowest of any other site. And then C site, of course, 77% uh, win rate for the attackers and 38% of the spike plants. Uh, so not a big surprise, you know, not a big crazy thing. I would have probably guessed that A site would have been the favored site. The B site is probably the easiest to retake in the whole game because the defenders uh, have access to both of these entrance ways. And just, you know, a single smoke here that blocks off this choke point is going to cause a bit of chaos for the attackers and it's going to be very difficult for them to try and you know undo that uh, a site i think generally speaking people do prefer the a site most teams prefer the a site in all ranks i don't i don't necessarily know why i guess it's because uh you know if you can go in two directions and, and do a split push pretty easily uh, on this site you know it's kind of built in to do a split push on a for you already which i think helps people uh particularly in uh, lower ranks as well you know where split pushes might not be as coordinated it's very easy to co coordinate a split push on here because you you know you're right next to them you just have to look and uh so yeah it's quite easy to do a split push which might be leading to uh some good examples here and i do think that you know the win percentage on both spike sites you know is, is a relatively good percent i think 75 should be you know is what i would call a good number for the attackers uh to be at and so it seems like both sites are doing pretty well in terms of balance. We can see here the spike locations, not as many behind this box as I would have thought, to be honest. Only a couple, it seems. But as you can see, a lot in this area. But you can see the closer you kind of get to the default box, the closer you get to this position, the less likely it seems that you are to win. You can see more and more uh, reds in here towards that position. So I would say most of the time you should be aiming to plant in this position here, like a lot of these green dots are, because you can see that when the spike is planted there, then, you know, you get that access to long on both sides. And, uh, you know, that, that will often lead to round wins, as you can see. So we're now on to Icebox, and interesting, Icebox is the map with the most plants. Not surprising to me that much. Icebox is a map uh, that, as you can see, is good for retake. You know, if we're looking at 75% to be uh, the kind of standard, you know, only 65 and 59% win rates for the attackers once they've planted the spike. And uh, you can see it's actually more balanced than I would have expected. I, I would have expected slightly higher for A, but you can see there is still a preference towards the A site. And that is not a surprise, I don't think. But you can also see that their retake percentage is really high compared to other maps, only a 65% win rate. And that is really, really interesting to me because that is how this map is probably played. And you should probably be thinking about that when you're trying to defend this map as well. That actually retake isn't that bad on this map and you can often do it. And the reason for that is obviously, as you can see on this B site here, the spike plant locations are like all after a sage wall and just like put down there. And uh, often what that means is that the attackers will normally only be in one or two positions, right? They'll only be here or they'll be somewhere back here. And you know that as the defenders. And I think that that is a big advantage. On A site, I was a bit surprised to see it this low, but maybe that makes sense. We saw, you know, a lot of sort of stage walls come in after the fact and uh, cause some chaos for the attackers. But it seems again that, you know, these sites aren't that hard to retake. And if you can get a kill or two, then you'll probably be in a good position to try and retake these sites, which is quite interesting. And I think that when you are trying to defend on Icebox, then, you know, what you might need to do is just, you know, retreat. You know, if they're coming at you with a full five stack, which is often quite regular on Icebox in general, just retreat. You know, play retake, because as you can see by the numbers, it seems that retaking on this map is going to be a, a half decent idea a lot of the time. And you shouldn't necessarily be risking it all of the time trying to take those fights. Okay, moving on to split, and as we can see, again, pretty even in terms of the spike plants, 54 to 46%, but as you can see, again, a big disparity in terms of the rounds won, only 63% won on the A site, whereas 73 getting closer to our normal on the B site, and uh, this, again, pretty interesting overall. On B site, you know, we get a lot of these green dots in this location, that to me is no surprise, uh, because, you know, you can play from sort of... Uh, B main here and you can uh, you can get a view of the spike so that's not a big surprise to me that you know if you can plant in this location it's probably going to be pretty successful for you uh, that's no great surprise and it seems like you know B site is pretty easy to hold overall because generally you know that if you can smoke this and put some utility towards uh, the defender side of B here as well then you know you're probably going to be able to stop them a lot and uh, again they have to drop down from heaven not easy for the 
the retaking team. So that makes sense to me. But on A site, it seems like, you know, it's actually a lot easier for a retake to happen. And that is quite interesting. You can see a lot of spike plants uh, in, in this area being unsuccessful, which is quite interesting because, you know, those are generally safer plants, which maybe is leading to that. Because once you do plant in the, and maybe not this location here, I should, I should take that off. Once you do plant sort of behind this, in this area, you are kind of stuck in terms of the places that you can then go, right? You kind of can't necessarily, you know, this isn't going to be an easy push unless you're in a very, you know, in a 1v1, say, you know, this is going to be a pretty dangerous push to make out. And getting out of this location, you know, this is a very long way to try and get out. And so I think that this is what's happening on A site a lot of the time is people are getting stuck. You know, they don't have the time to plant and then get to anywhere really past this. And as soon as you're trapped in this area, you know, you're probably in for a bad time because this is a very, you know, if you're holding this line here as a choke point, you know, that's a very wide choke point to try and hold and, uh, you know, and with the possibility and threat always that they could come through elbow as well. It's not going to be the easiest thing for you. So that does make some sense that the A site will be pretty difficult to hold a lot of time. I mean, it still is 63%. It's not the lowest I've ever seen, but, you know, it, it isn't easy to hold this A site. And it might it might come down to, you know, maybe people are just rushing onto site a bit more. Maybe you do want to get more heaven control when it comes to A so that you can plant in like this location. If you've got heaven control, you know, you can just defend this choke point and you should be okay for the round win. And so that was a quick look at spike planting on each map. And uh, I thought it was quite interesting and worth bringing up. Big thank you to Thomas Burke here for writing this article. As I say, there is more to this and Thomas gives his own analysis as well. If you want to see that, so uh, go down into the description below and uh, make sure you give Thomas the love and the click on this article because it was very interesting, I thought. And I hope that you found it interesting as well. And uh, yeah, have a really nice day.